Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the National Timely Action Hour podcast. This is the show where we talk about everything from Batman the Animated Series to uh, Spawn comic books and everything in between. My name is Aiden, and I hope that you're doing well today. Today we are on Season 3, Episode 10. These are my personal picks for the top 10 episodes of Justice League the Animated Series and its sequel series, Justice League Unlimited. I put them all together because technically they're two different shows, but they continue the same story. So I figured I'd just knock them all out at this in this one episode. So I saved time. So I'll be going from... Number 10 being a great episode that I love, to number 1 being my absolute favorite in the entire series. So, starting this off, we have number 10, The Great Brain Robbery. Now, the reason why I chose this as the number 10 is because, uh, before we go forward, I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but the reason why I chose this in particular is because it is... A very funny and action-packed episode which has a lot of great character moments (laughs) and a lot of great jokes in between those uh, character moments that play off of it and I just think that it's one of those great episodes that we have and in number nine we have the uh, Justice League Unlimited finale destroyer because this culminates the entire DC Uh, animated universe to that point not counting Batman Beyond though and Destroyer is a great finale to this wonderful uh, series and that's why I love it so much then at number eight we have War World this is an earlier episode that at this point they're getting used to the format and the formula But, you know, there's still a bit of kinks that they're trying to work out. But this is a great episode. It's a two-parter. From Season 1 and 2, it's all two-parters, except for the opening uh, of Season 1 being a three-parter, and both finales being a three-parter as well. But this is a great two-part episode that uh, shows Superman and Martian Manhunter's friendship, and they fight a great villain. And, uh, yeah, overall, have a lot of fun with it. Then at number seven we have Hereafter, again, great, great episode, Uh, not much else to say, and uh, yeah, moving on to number six we have uh, Wild Cards, which sees returning villains and um, some of the last times we see these villains for a long time, but still great to see them, and uh, we further some interpersonal connections within the league, and I just think it's great two-parter. And then at number five, we have Patriot Act. This is during a season-long arc called the Cadmus Arc, and this is one of the, those deep-dive episodes where it takes characters who are less known than the mainstays, but it really shines a light on them and makes you appreciate these uh, lesser known characters to the wider public. Then at number four we have the season two finale, Starcrossed, which is honestly one of the best written episodes of television I've ever seen in my life. And the performances by the actors, this is throughout the entire list, and the animation, department all do fantastic jobs and the writers also do fantastic jobs so I just think that Starcrossed is a great finale then at number three we have the season one finale the savage time again uh, all the same reasons it's just I find this a bit more enjoyable then at number two we have Injustice for All which is one of my absolute favorite uh, DC stories in any media format because we get to see you know the Justice League really come into their own as a team because this is pretty early in season one but it is just uh, fun to see them you know, really strengthen their bonds and their friendships, and we get to see the villains interact with each other and with the heroes, and love it. 
Then at number one, we have my absolute favorite. This was a tough margin to beat, but at number one, we have Question Authority. The reason why is because the Question is a character who is lesser known to the wider DC audience, but he does have his fans, myself included, and this episode in particular is the reason why I love the Question so much. So if you say to me, hey Aiden, why do you like the Question uh, from DC Comics? And I'll say, watch the Justice League the Animated Series episode Question Authority, and you'll know why. And that's really all I have to say without getting into spoilers. I recommend that you watch the show if you haven't, and if you have seen it, maybe you give it a rewatch because definitely worth your time. And even though the show's over 20 years old, God, I'm old, uh, this is still one of the best TV shows I've ever seen. So definitely give it a chance if you haven't already. So, thank you so much for listening to this episode of the National Timely Action Hour podcast. Once again, my name is Aiden. Thank you so much for listening, and if you're new and want to hear more episodes like this, please subscribe, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel, the National Timely Action Hour, and you'll get comic book reviews, uh, movie TV show reviews, video game gameplay, and uh, just all sorts of fun, nerdy uh, content that... I put a lot of time and effort in, and I also do action figure reviews and unboxings, so if you want to see cool action figures and poses, take a look at those videos. So thank you once again. Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.